Hello friends, good evening. Today I am going to present some useful modules developed by partners and contributed to Odoo Community Association that is OCA library. Those modules are purchase request and stock request. So the purpose of stock request is one employee can ask for stock transfer from internal location to their location and there they can have you know request as a user and request as a manager to approve the request kind of thing and then we have another module that is purchase request which can you know raise a purchase request internally and then once approved it will create a request for quotation in Odoo. How it works let's see so what I have done is you know I have created two users one is our admin user who has purchase request manager access for purchase request and stock request as a stock request manager both modules have this access and then second user is user who is purchase request user and then stock request user so this is my login as a stock user who is able to see the purchase request like this okay one purchase request and then this is purchase manager login like this Michelle and he can see everything okay. so let's start with the stock request so to run the stock request I can make a stock request and to have it we have to prepare a new operation that is stock you know staff request I have created as a new operation inside that I have created a new route staff request internal transfer and where I have created three different you know rules from main stock to this another location Hydra, Al Mahajan, Al Multaka kind of thing which are nothing but my different different three locations and their main stock location main warehouse so I have created one route under that three rules pool rules under the operation type from main stock to ITR and then this staff request internal transfer route I have to select inside my product so this is my product pro1 where I have selected staff request internal transfer as a route okay and then you will also get a new option for the product that is purchase request so this checkbox will generate purchase request instead of request for quotation so whenever this product is being asked it will create purchase request how it works let's see so i am going inside my user login create a new request for pro1 and i need this by 19th and i need this in this al multaka location and this is the route i have to select and i need one unit so when so i confirm it will create one transfer okay so one transfer is requested and as a manager what I will see is inside my inventory I will see this staff request under one operation waiting this is nothing but the same staff request which is created okay pro one one unit and this is the main request you can see created by user so inside my stock request I can see pro one has been requested okay then here I can see expected that is 15th and this is also over here so I can access the transfer from here also or I can request the transfer from inventory operations from here also this is waiting as I have marked it as a you know check availability first as I have stock available for pro one these many units are available it will allow me to validate as soon as I validate over here you can see in user plan it is in progress and when I go back it will be marked as done because my fulfillment request has been done so this is automatically done by Michelle admin because it has been fulfilled okay so now at my this location my stock has been increased for pro one right at Al Multaka so this is how it will work for stock request now let's say I will find a product which is 
I don't have anything like office lamp I don't have and I am creating staff request internal transfer and purchase request I don't have any stock right for custard is six because something is there incoming draft transfer request for quotation outgoing draft transfer so these are POs are already been created okay and I am having these vendors also associated with office lamp and I have enabled my routes staff request and buy so this office lamp now let us see its inventory I have zero inventory on hand you see nothing is there and some staff member the user is requesting this office lamp and it has been requested to Al Multaka location and by internal transfer and then date is 17 and they need maybe 40 units okay I am changing to 17 and I confirm so it has created one transfer okay now inside transfer if I check availability I don't have anything and it is connected with my stock request so over here when I see office lamp inventory I have one waiting to done in two days because 17 is my deadline with a stock request so how now we will be able to fulfill so if I go to replenishment screen and if I launch office lamp okay this is auto request for main warehouse okay. and then my stock request is for location Al Multaka and transfer has been created from main to sorry it's storage box where is my office lamp yeah office lamp the transfers from main location to this location office lamp and this has been created okay. so now what I have to do is I have to you know bring this into my warehouse so if I see total forecast these are my total forecast okay because these are three POs available PO 2 6 and 7 which is request for quotation totaling 44 quantities so it is already there hence what I will do is I will first go to my purchase order if I go to my purchase order I have <coughs> I don't have those PO2 for, for like office lamp is there six units over here so to find office lamp PO4 and 10 right 10 units is not office lamp uh, so if I say lamp it is only for PO4, 6 unit. All other units, I can't see it out. Right. So PO2, office lamp 20 is there. Which is already, you know, RFQ mode. And PO6, which is again into RFQ mode. Okay. Let me say, I will mark it zero quantities to run our use case. PO2 zero unit PO7 this lamp zero unit so I have only incoming draft transfer and outgoing draft transfers which is there but now it won't be there anymore okay, only six unit is against you know PO4 I have as a confirm order which I am going to receive so this office lamp I am validating and requesting six in my warehouse now in order to fulfill this 40 units only six is made available rest 36 I don't have so what I will do is if I go to inventory and replenishment office lamp 34 is still missing 
according to my order hence how i can now build so i will select my route my vendor and i will say order once so what it will do is it will create a purchase request see here it will not create any rfq but it will create a purchase request so that purchase request also can be you know done from here okay but i haven't created that so it is directly created by admin and i say request for approval well approval can approve it but i am admin so i am approving it and then i am creating an rfq from here so a fresh rfq can be placed from here or if i have any existing rfq i can club over there but i will create a new rfq and the rfq will have total quantity which is required okay and then i will confirm that rfq now in my purchase equation i will have line item where i can see the purchase order connected and allocation is also there okay so this is my po25 and i can see stop move which can be you know my purchase line i can connect over here once i am done with my purchase order receive product and validate i will have stock so this purchase requisition in picking i can see it is done and connected stock request are here so i can see this is my connected stock request once i check availability it will say yeah, it is available so i can also see from this particular inward i have connected stock request and i can mark you know my allocation from here okay so this is how this purchase requisition can be seen and over line you can see these many POs are there and allocation I can mark my allocation check my stop move so my purchase equation is I am connecting over here as soon as I connect I can also see my two pickings so inside purchase order inside received these are you know uh, default request allocated according to my line item so stock requests are there okay so this is another open stock request and this is for office lamp stock request and which is again connected with one transfer as soon as i validate this stock request will be marked as done see it is done it is also done and my stock has been transferred with po so now if i check my stock i will see by location and then by product i can see office lamp al multaka will have 40 and then main warehouse has 10 units and this is the history i can see from internet staff request it has been submitted so these are the two modules which are you know uh, can be used now if i want to place a fresh request from user with approver anything you know source document need at site is the reason and then i will say muscat warehouse request picking type you know it is creating a purchase and whereby i have uh, you know created three different you know like directly to idra i need and i need islam i need 40 units these are the estimated cost this is total cost of po and I say request for approvals so it will go to admin over here purchase request when I say you know request by then I will see users request to be approved over here and then I can approve this request and I can create a new RFQ with this PR009 I will create an RFQ it will create a new PO and then I can change my quantity whether I will need more quantity this is my estimated price I will confirm the order I will say received and in received I will see the connected you know 
request for transfer okay but it is directly purchase request so i don't have any transfer request i can directly validate and then rfq is here in purchase order whereby i have received the order my rfq can be now moved to done state so that i will receive all the quantity in that and you I see over here now it is making us done it is connected with my purchase order and line items also where my allocation can be seen and then my purchase request has been marked as done and then if i see my stock so i don't have stock report only product report inside that office lamp you can see 130 units over 130 units i'll multiply the will have 40 and hydra have 80 okay because hydra have purchased 80 units recently from the order from the request so these are the modules uh, uh, which can be you know useful whereby i have created some new routes i will tell you again how i have done i have created some new routes like receipt three receipt type for three different location and this is main location i have created operation types so these are my operation types separate operation types i have created to separate locations and then i have created it again the routes like by routes will have all the routes because these are my main locations where i can make a purchase directly as well as this route is required to select inside my product also in order to work with our internal staff request and then if i enable purchase request then it will create purchase request first not rfq so these are the beautiful modules available by oca which can be used by any company who make internal request for stock transfer or internal request first for buyout and then make a rfq and then purchase order hope this will help uh, people to set up these two modules i am sharing this two module link in my you know video so one can download it is free module purchase request and stock request over version 17 you can use this thank you